Hello people, how are you doing? Today we've come up with the practice on the previous lesson that we gave you yesterday. Yesterday we saw the lesson on go home, arrive home, get home, do something at home. Do you still remember that lesson? Then now we are coming to the practice. This is the practice on the previous lesson that we gave you. Are you together with me? Very fantastic. Now we are going to correct the following sentences by using different skills that we saw from the previous lesson. Obumenyi, the skills that we got from the previous lesson. Obumenyi mubjukuri, wamenye, wawungutse, misomurji wushize, nibgo buje kugufasha, gukora, neza uyungitos. Are you ready? Are you ready with me? Nice. Uh, first of all, before giving you this lesson, I would like first of all to give you the word of today. Today's word is this one, which is incentive, 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 incentive. What is the meaning of incentive? Incentive is something that motivates or encourages someone to do something. Incentive. Incentive, nicho tukitaga himbaza musichi. It is something that motivates or encourages someone to do something. Nubangu ni chinu jituma umunu njine ajira uhu shache bwa kukori chinu runaka. Umukozi nu muhaga himbaza musiki azakora chana. If you give your worker, your employee incentive, he is going to work very hard. He is going to work in a very better way in a very good way. Then incentive to menyeko ari agahimbaza muski. Shora kuburi kukazi ukavuguti my my CEO I need incentive please. Eh? Nyeneye incentive. I need incentive. Incentive agahimbaza muski. Nice. Then uh, let's go uh, to the sentences now. But before sentences, I do have the book or I have the book here which is for you. This book is very well constructed, very well written with very good things. If you buy this book, you are going to get different things. You are going to benefit more. If you buy this book, you are going to learn all tenses of English as well as get uh, different uh, vocabulary that is here inside the book, the book. If you read this book or if you buy it, if you get it there, home, you are going to try your best to correct or to do exercises that are here. The exercises are there to help you strengthen your English language. The book is there for you. Come all and buy it. If you, you live far away, from Kigali, try to SMS me, try to, uh, to phone me, to call me. I am there to help you. I will send the book via the means of transport. Don't worry about it. If you, you live far away from this country, for example, you are a foreigner or a, a diaspora, just I'm there to, to help you get the book. I will take the book to the post office then you pay the money for the post office, please. As well as you will pay the money for the price of the book. You will pay the money, yes, for the book. Then the book is not very expensive. Something that is expensive, it is something that is inside the book. very important. Skills, ubumenyi, ni chinu jikome chane, chiri hejuru, Come and buy the book, please. Nice. Then we are going to correct the following sentences. Go back to the previous lesson. I am very tired. I want to go at home. You are going to correct. 
correct the following sentences izini ntero zigera muri esheshatu uri buze gukosora i am very tired i want to go at home where is the mistake the mistake is here we don't say i want to go at home we say i want to go home there is no need of this preposition at and how mambo yo gushiraho at i'm going i want to go at home now you will say i want to go home very nice good then you will say i am very tired i want to go home you remove this one this one is not needed nice then the second sentence is this one i am coming to home just now i am coming to home just now where is the mistake ikosa ririhe the mistake is not here the mistake is not here but the mistake is this preposition to it is not needed then you will say i am i am coming home now i am coming home hmm? i am coming home now ubu ndaje mu rugo ndatashe i am coming home cyangwa ndagarutse mu rugo i'm coming home nice then i can't come home today but i will get in home next monday this yeah there is no problem here hachwazo kiri hano no any other problem there but here but i will get in home next monday the preposition in is not needed here i will get home next monday Okay then we will say i can't come home today sinshobora kuza mu rugo uyu munsi ariko but i will get home next monday then this in is not is not needed there in this sentence nice then uh, let's go to the fourth sentence let's continue this is number 4 sentence last week I arrived at home around 6 p.m. Where is the mistake there? Last week I arrived at home around 6 p.m. There is no mistake here. You never recur. Just had on that was recurrent. No problem there. Huh? Last week no problem. I arrived no problem. But at home, huh? This is a big mistake. I arrived at home now we will say last week i arrived home hmm? i arrived home around 6 pm very fantastic then number 5 which is this one we have two people here the first person is saying where are you my wife mugore wanjuri he i am in home now negative we don't put in home i am home or you can say here I am at home. You give it a correct. Eh? I am at home now. Now. But don't say I am in home. Usha kuvuga ngo ndi murugo. No, I am home. Don't say I am in home. Chakoro cha kuvuga kuti I am in my house. Ndi munzu yange. But I am home. Or I am at home. At home. Nice. Then number six, which is here. Where is your teacher? Where is your tea? teacher we don't say teacher where is your teacher teacher where is your teacher eh mwarimu wa wari he is to his home negative eh mhm he is this to no he is maybe at you can say he is at his home yes he is at his home nice then what is he doing there ari gukora iki hari what is he doing there this is perfect it is correct then here it is correct then here you say he is setting his exams in home negative he is setting his exams home or at home yes which means that uh, he is doing something at home don't say he is doing something in home hano ni hova ngo ari gutegura to set exams ari gutegura ibizamini bye ari kubitegurira hehe mu rugo ntabwo uzakoresha in e iyo mu ntabwo isobanuye ko ari in home na ha he is setting his exams at home he is doing something at home 
he is setting his exams at at home very fantastic have you got this lesson very well now we recorded it in ngero zitandukanye hey try your best to formulate or to create different examples of your own in order to understand the lesson better kugira ngo irisomo ryinjire neza kuri nyitozo practice makes perfect cyongereza turavuga ngo practice makes perfect iyo ukora imyitozo buri kimwe kigenda sawa eh bigenda neza very fantastic then uh, now we are going to give you the saying of today tujye kubagezaho english say saying nkuko bisanzwe buri munsi yo tuba hai somo gice cyanyuma kisomo ryacu kibari se saying in english we say the thoughts we choose to think are the tools we use to make our lives better let me repeat the thoughts the thoughts we choose to think are the tools we use to make our lives better bishatse kuvuga ngo ibitekerezo duhitamo gutekereza nibyo bikoresho dukoresha kugira ngo tugire ubuzima bwiza ibitekerezo duhitamo gutekereza bivamwe ibikoresho dukoresha kugira ngo tugire ubuzima bwiza i am teacher jasper we are together for the next lessons but try to buy the book i sensitize you to buy the book again Bye bye.